Hey guys, making a quick video answering what is regression testing. This testing is very important and it is really important to understand what it is and how to perform it. So regression testing is done when any changes or modification done to any module or functionality. So anytime there is a change in code or modification is done, then we need to do a, a regression test and make sure that that functionality is working also to make sure nothing is broken around that functionality. But sometimes there is an issue, for example, it, it could be a minor issue or major issue, you know. Let's say there was a spelling mistake and they corrected it and uh, well, they were fixing that, they messed up something else, you know, they br broke something else. Uh, so that, that's why it is very important uh, to do regression to test. So in short, regression test, anytime there is a change or modification in code, we do regression test. And to make sure that the new functionality and the functionality surrounding it uh, has not been uh, broken. As the software, you know, is being developed, regression test cases gets larger. That's why I mentioned here, it is a broader test. It is very time consuming to do regression testing manually on a daily basis. Since it, it requires so much time, and automation testing becomes so popular. And that's one of the reasons. I'm going to continue uh, with this website for the tutorial purposes. Look at this page. If I have to do a regression test in daily basis, First of all, when I'm on this page, I have to verify that when I click this menu bar, this uh, drop down, this menu uh, populates, then I have to verify all of this, starting from how they're spelled, which order they are, then, you know, there are more menu bars here. So when I click this, then, you know, there are more functionalities here. Then, I, then there is this logo. When I click, it refreshes the page or goes to home page. Then when I click on games, it directs me to another page where, you know, we have all these options. Then if I click this tab here, then it there's other functionalities here. Then if I click this, and then if I click this tab, as you can see, there's so much going on, right? And here's so much we need to verify. I'm just explaining two tabs. There are so much more, right? This is just I'm testing in one browser. Then I have to test it on all major browsers. Sometimes there are requirements to test in the current browser and also uh, older version of uh, uh, the same browser. And then the handsets, mobile devices, uh, tablets, and connected devices and so on. So in daily basis, it will be very difficult to manually execute all these uh, test cases. I mean, you can, you will need a very huge QA team. That's why the automation part comes in for regression testing. And you will hear this a lot when regression testing comes, automation comes in. That's one of the reasons I, I mentioned earlier that is a broader test. At starting, there might not be that many test cases to execute for regression test as the project goes on, you know, the regression test cases are being added. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.